<laughs> Alright, so this is our kan Kanban. If that's the pronunciation, our Kanban board built with purely just PHP. So what we can do, well, we have a list of rows as you can see. One is called backlog, one is called pending, one is called in progress, and the other is called completed. And what you could do is you add a task. So let's say start coding website and you save it and then you can carry the task across the different um the different sections into pending into in progress and into incompleted so in order to do that we have these little action items below b stands for backlog p stands for pending i stands for in progress c stands for completed and then we have edit and delete so if you was to press p it would go across to the start code and we go to pending and then ip would go to in progress and we could always send it back to backlog if you wanted to or we could move it quite across to complete it and then we have the edit and delete as the case may be so let's put it to pending and then we can edit it and we can add an s to that and save it and it will be saved and updated and then we can delete it if we wanted to all right so that is basically our board um there yeah. So let's let's get into the code inside of things. So we have our get connection function, which just allows us to connect to the database. Then we have a save task function, which does an insert query and an update query into our Kanban and board uh, table, which is spelled incorrectly, but that's fine. All right, then we have a move task function, which determines where the task is. So that is dependent on the type so we have types like in progress uh, pending backlog so every uh, row is a type and we could just move the task as necessary right then we have get tasks so that just allows us to get all the tasks of course we get in all the tasks by a certain type and then we have get task singular which allows us to get an individual task based on the ID then we have show title which allows us to show the one the content of the task so whatever the task is as well as it displays the action row which is the b the ip the p and the edit and delete so forth so forth so we have our urls for that so we have for shifting we have a shift uh, parameter in the url and then for edit we have an edit and of course we have to add, add our types as the case may be so that function actually takes in an object a type all right so yeah all right so this is where we actually take action so we say if i s s at get shift so this is where we take in our shift action and what we're looking for is an id and a type and depending on if you have id and type you just call the move task function and then we had a location so that allows us to relocate um, and then we say if I S S at get edit. So this is where we're going to edit, and all we need primarily is an ID, and then we assign the relevant active task based on the task object we receive from the database, and then we can just edit that task and save it. Our form allows us to do that, so we'll get into that. We I'll show you how to do that, and then we have the delete function, which again all we need is an ID and we just delete from the database calling the delete from cabana on board where id is equal to whatever we have there and then of course we do a header function location and we we'll reload the page using server php self um finally we have the post uh a server request method equal to post and this is where we are saving and or updating our functions so this is where we deal with saving and editing and all we're doing is basically calling the save task now we check in to see so depending on if you look at the actual boards we have different inputs and they what determines what is based on the submit the name of the submit button right so the name of the submit submit button changes based on the form that is being submit so we have a name called save backlog one is called save pending one is called save progress and one is called save completed so that is how we determine what we actually attempted to save 
Alright, so the HML is pretty straightforward. We have what we have we have a column, so that's the column that uh so each column that you see here, that's how we build it here. So the top of the column is the input and a button and it has a get active value function called here right and that is and you use that when you're attempting to edit so get active values when you're attempting to edit all right and then we have a board items div here where we actually display all the tasks specific to that row and then we call the show title function to actually show the task all right so we do that for all the all the boards we call a board um, we create a board column div and then we give it a title of backlog or pending as the case may be and then we put in our inputs and we display our board items calling the get task function passing in type which in this case is pending and then we call in the show title function to actually show the task and the action item specific to that task so that is it for that is it for us